to take its time to debate and vote on the condemnation of a private citizen, but it has done that. 435 members of the House of Representatives debating the, uh, debating the condemnation of uh, Mr. Muhammad. Here, is two, uh, here are two members of the House on opposing sides. Uh, calling for the uh, censoring of Mr. Muhammad is Congressman Lantos, followed by Congressman Abercrombie, who, uh, Abercrombie, who makes a, a, a statement in behalf of free speech. Watch this, House of Representatives. On November 29, 1993, at Keene College in New Jersey, Mr. Khalid Muhammad, a senior representative of the Nation of Islam, delivered an outrageous and violent attack on the principles of racial, religious, and ethnic intolerance. His attempt to incite violence by preaching bigotry and hatred must be swiftly and forcefully condemned by this body. Governmental sanction against any speech, objectionable as it may be, is always suspect. Is always suspect. The Constitution has proven to be our strongest safeguard against the Mohammeds of the world. Let us respect and revere the Constitution of the United States and vote down this resolution. Uh, Congressman Abercrombie's uh, position did not carry. The final vote uh, by the House of Representatives on the matter of condemning Mr. Muhammad was 304, 361 yay, 34 nay. You have, sir been condemned by the United States House of Representatives, I assume you are flattered by that action. It's to watch this gross incompetence that I watched last night. And we put out a statement a little while ago, and these people are going crazy. They won't report it properly. Shall I read you the statement? Donald J. Trump is calling for it. Now, listen, you got to listen to this one, because this is pretty Pretty heavy stuff, and it's common sense, and we have to do it. Remember the poll numbers, 25%, 51%. Remember the poll numbers. Okay, so remember this. So listen. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Continues to catalyze the sort of white separatist, white supremacist, white nationalist vote with his war on immigrants. He recently put out the six page immigration plan, which basically reads like the uh, a playbook of the anti immigrant movement in the United States. It calls for mass deportations, it calls for this border fence, it calls for gutting the 14th Amendment, and it is really helping to coalesce the white supremacist movement around Donald Trump. A couple of examples here. White nationalist Brad Griffin pointed out on his website, Occidental Descent, quote, I think a comparable moment just happened in American pol politics with marginalized and disaffected voters. All those people long laughed at and excluded from the mainstream who were cast out beyond the wall of respectability are now in the tank for Donald Trump. <laughs>